Today, I'm going to be showing you how to take this photo in Pokemon Go. This is the new AR Go snapshot, and it is amazing because you can use three Pokemon at the same time to take epic photos. Let's take our first Go snapshot AR photo. The first thing you want to do is click on the Pokeball menu, and then just to the left there is a little camera symbol, so click on that camera symbol. It's going to load up immediately with some pre-selected suggestions for you to use, but we're going to pick our own Pokemon. So we're going to select Pokemon here. I want to take a photo inspired by the original Mewtwo Strikes Back movie. So now that we have our three Pokemon selected, you just click take photo. Now. What you see here is a bunch of yellow dots all over the ground. The yellow dots are where the game can detect a surface. So that is where it's eligible for you to place a Pokemon. Now you have two options here. You can either just place the uh, Pokemon by tapping on the yellow dots, or you can drag the Pokemon by holding down your finger and dragging it to a location out here. If the circle is red, like see how it is underneath of this Charizard, then you cannot place a Pokemon there. But if you move it to a yellow area, then you can potentially place it there. So let's put the Armored Mewtwo there in the back. Next up, we've got my other Charizard, the regular Charizard. We are going to drag him to this area right here. So let's put him there. These Charizards are not facing each other and we want to make it so that they look like they're in battle with each other. So. What we can do is we can stand in the direction that we want the Charizard to face and we can move him by kind of rubbing it with our finger towards the direction that we are standing or we can also push him in the opposite way. However, if you don't have the luxury of standing where you want your Pokemon to face, there's a new tool for that. It's this little rotation tool right here which is right above the Pokeball in the bottom left. So we want to rotate that Charizard. So let's hit the rotation tool. And while this Charizard is selected, you can see this like feather tool appears around him. Now, wherever you place the feather tool, he is going to face and you can go 360 degrees around the Charizard. So like if we wanted him to be facing towards the stadium, then we can put the feather tool back there and he will turn that way. Now, if we want him to face towards his uh, opponent here, we're gonna have him face that way, as you can see. Now, we can just tap on this Charizard and it immediately switches over to have the rotation tool on the clone Charizard. Again, you can rotate wherever you need him to face, but we want him to face this Charizard head on because they are in battle. Now, I don't really like that angle, so we're gonna move it just this way. So that way it looks like they are facing towards each other more. Perfect, I think that's great. Now, I'm happy with the placement of the armored Mewtwo in the back. So I think this looks really good. So we're gonna exit out of that by clicking this button in the upper left. All right, now that we're exited out of the rotation tool, let's click on this smiley face button, which makes all of the Pokemon react. So let's see what they do. Awesome, so they engage in a battle scene. You're gonna have to move around your Pokemon and see which angle looks the best. Now I'm trying to recapture that magic from the movie of the clone versus the regular one with the armored Mewtwo. So what I wanna do is take this picture. Let's see how it looks. Maybe you can lower down, let's try it, let's see. Get this angle like this. That's pretty good. Let's try it wide, just like this. I like that as well. Now that I'm in this lower angle, let's see how these Charizards look when I hit the buddy thing and then take a photo. Let's take a look at it. Okay, they look really cool because they're in a fighting scene, but we're blocking the Mewtwo. So let's hit the check mark and actually let's recall this Mewtwo. So we're gonna hit the button in the bottom left hand symbol. We're gonna pick Mewtwo and we're actually gonna return him and we're gonna place him further back. So let's actually walk through the Charizards. It's okay, just walk through them and we are going to place Mewtwo further in the background. This is going to allow us to get him at a smaller vantage point while we focus on the Charizards up close. Yeah, this is gonna be much better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back down to our lower angle. We're gonna click the buddy symbol, that's the smiley face, and we're gonna start taking some photos. We're trying to get it so that the Charizards are above the Mewtwo so that way they don't uh, cut him off in the picture. There, let's take a look at our photo. 
Oh man, that looks really sick. It looks like they're tangled up in battle and Mewtwo is just in the back watching menacingly. I love that. Also guys, don't forget to just turn your phone to the side to get some sick photos in horizontal status. Let's just try taking one regular like this. I think that looks cool. Now we'll get them in battle. Okay, it looks like I need to back up myself. Let's try this angle, you guys. All right, I think that looks pretty good like that. Oh yeah, look at that. The two Charizards in battle. I love that. So we're gonna center Mewtwo in the middle. We're gonna try to get the Charizards like right around him. Boom, let's take a look at that. Awesome, you guys, that is a great shot. So now, now that we have the photo that we like, we're going to exit out of here and it's time to share it and use stickers. So in the flare section, you're gonna have a free uh, pack of stickers that are the sparkles and the hearts. And honestly, the only one that's really appropriate for this much of an intense battle is the oh yeah sticker. And what you can do is you can make them huge, you can make them really tiny, you can rotate them by dragging with your two thumbs. Uh, obviously, we don't wanna block the main part of the photo, so let's just put it down at the bottom, just like that. I think that looks good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's put it just like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Does it ruin the photo? I don't know. Let's just try the stickers. We will exit out of here. And yes, you want to save it. Now, be mindful of this because if you use the sticker in your photo, it will consume the sticker so you can't use it again. So if you don't want to use up your stickers, make sure that you don't do this for the photos. But anyway, we are going to save it. And now that is a complete and official photo. Now comes the sharing part. Just click on the share button. Then you want to select the photo that you want to share and click share photos. So when you click on the share option, there's a lot of options. You can text somebody, you can email it. I highly suggest that you email yourself the photo if you don't want to post it anywhere or send it to anybody. That way you can just download it to yourself and put it wherever you want or just save it. But for me, I'm going to post it on Twitter former, or formerly known as Twitter, now known as X. So if you guys don't already follow me on Twitter, please do so. Let's share photos with each other using the hashtags, hashtag Pokemon Go, hashtag Go Snapshot, and hashtag Rediscover Go. So if you guys like this tutorial, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. Peace out, everybody.